To determine the proper size, three circumferential measurements are required. Xiphoid or chest, measuring one inch below the tip of the breastbone. The umbilicus or waist, and greater trochanter or fullest contour of the hips. To prepare for application, position the patient on their side. To do so, bend the knee of one leg to a 90 degree angle while keeping the other leg straight. Place the patient's arm overhead by their ear. Place the patient's other hand on their abdomen. To turn the patient onto their side, reach across the patient and grasp the draw sheet. On the count of three, pull the draw sheet toward you, rotating the patient to their side. Pull the draw sheet slowly, monitoring the patient for comfort and preventing any rotation of the spine. To apply the orthosis, tuck or slide the closure under the patient's lower back so that it can be retrieved on the other side. The inferior or lower portion of the posterior panel should be positioned just above the coccyx. Next, roll the patient back into the supine position. Place the anterior or front panel in the proper position one inch above the pubic bone. Ensure the dial on each side of the orthosis is disengaged by pulling out on the dial. Secure the side closure attachments by applying them to the anterior front panel. First on the left side, then on the right. On each of the side closure attachments, locate the dial and push in to engage. Turn both dials clockwise to tighten laces. After ensuring that the anterior panel is in the correct position, you can repeat the tightening process. Keeping the patient's legs together, gently bend their knees, monitoring the patient for pain. Position the patient's arm extended overhead with the elbow straight on the side on which they will be turned. Assist the patient to a seated position. The goal is to keep the shoulders squarely over the pelvis as the patient is being transferred. Once the patient is positioned, recheck the positioning of the anterior and posterior panels.